come along with me today as I get my sourdough bread and biscuits ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna start with sourdough starter that I had saved out in my last video for this bread. So I have about two cups of starter in here and add two tablespoons of salt, a quarter cup of oil, and then we're just gonna go ahead and mix and add flour slowly to this. So now this recipe is basically the same as the easy sourdough recipe that we already have here on our channel. The only difference is that we're using a quarter cup of oil unlike we did in that last recipe. We're also going to be kneading this a little bit longer and putting a little bit more flour into it to make a little bit more of a firmer dough, which makes it great for scoring. Now the great thing is you can take your favorite sourdough recipe and for every two cups of water in your recipe, I usually do a cup of sourdough starter. So for this recipe, that's my favorite. It's four cups of water, so I do two cups of starter. And you can turn any of your favorite yeast dough recipes into sourdough recipes. So we're gonna keep adding flour and more flour until we get the consistency that we want for our bread. And this is what we're looking for dough-wise after kneading it for about five to 10 minutes. So we want a really nice dough. Then you can go ahead and take it out and we're going to get it ready to be put into the fridge. So I'm gonna use several different things here to loaf my bread up and put them in the fridge. When I first started making sourdough, one of the reasons I didn't want to do sourdough is because I felt like I didn't have all the equipment. So often the way that sourdough is presented is you have to weigh everything out, you have to have the right mixing tools, and you have to have the right banneton baskets and the liners and all of that. And it took me a while to figure out, no, I actually don't need those. We can make do with what we have. And so that's what I want to show you is you don't need all the fancy sourdough things in order to make sou good sourdough bread. So I have a banneton basket that I went ahead and floured. And I'm going to now divvy out my dough into three different things. The cool thing about this recipe, again, is like you get to choose the size. So I have three different size bowls here that I'm going to use for loafing the bread. And when I get done loafing smaller ones that I'm just going to put straight into a bowl, I'm going to flour those so they don't end up sticking to the bowl as they sit in the fridge for 24 hours. Now, if you would like those big holes in your sourdough bread, all you need to do at this stage is let it sit out for about an hour and every 20 to 30 minutes you want to take the dough and do a stretch and fold and you can look up all kinds of videos how to do that but basically you're just going to be folding the dough over on itself and that creates those air pockets so that you have that nice um, sourdough look. I find this really difficult with little kids because all their toppings that they want on their bread just drip through. So I usually don't do stretch and folds for that reason, but you can go ahead and do a stretch and fold and then loaf them up if that's what your family enjoys. So once I get done loafing them all up, I'm just going to plastic wrap all of them so they don't get crusty on the outside and put them in the fridge so that they can ferment for the night. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prep one more thing for tomorrow while I already have the mixer out and I already have a mess going on, and that is biscuits. So this recipe is four cups of flour, two teaspoons of salt, half a cup of butter, coconut oil, some kind of fat, and go ahead and mix that all up. I'm gonna go ahead and mix the butter and the flour together before I add the starter and the water because the starter is a liquid and I want the butter to get mixed into the flour really, really well first. So once I add my starter, I'm gonna mix, let it mix a little bit more and then we're gonna start adding water until we end up with a biscuit consistency. This finishes mixing, I'm gonna go ahead and take it all off the hook and get it ready and wrapped and everything. And I'm gonna let it sit out on our propane stove for a while that's nice and warm for several hours before I go to bed, at which point I will put it in the fridge. And this will just ensure that it's ready to go in the morning. So together mixing the bread and the biscuits and getting it ready to go into the fridge took me 17 minutes. By the time I Clean up and everything is probably gonna be closer to 2025, but I want you to know that it's these little segments of time that just take a few minutes here and there that make it 
easy to incorporate sourdough into our own lives. Thanks again for coming along and watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'll see you tomorrow when we go ahead and bake everything.